Hey guys, welcome back to Pretty Girl Nana Farm. I'm Linda and I'm here today because I'm participating in a collaboration with um, Two Family Homestead. They are putting on a collaboration for all channels to join, homesteading or not. Um, doesn't matter what you're doing, doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, you could be new or old. Um, it's free for anyone to join, to participate in, and all you have to do is go to their channel, Two Family Homestead. And check it out. Give them a message saying, I want to be on the playlist. I want to be a part of this. And they will add you on. Um, you should really check them out anyway because they are great for this community. They are great supporters of bringing everyone together and letting everyone network together. And uh, get to know each other and find new channels that we can relate to and learn from. So make sure you go check them out. And if you can't, for some strange reason, message them. Go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll make sure she'll get it. If you want to be a part of this collaboration, I'll make sure that she gets that message somehow. So today, as part of the holiday favorite desserts collaboration, I am making old fashioned molasses cookies. I'm going to be right back to show you the ingredients. So for this recipe, you're going to need one cup of brown sugar, three fourths cup of shortening, a quarter cup of molasses, one egg, two and a half cups of flour, Two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of ginger, a half a teaspoon of cloves, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then sugar to roll the cookies in. Molasses cookies are way underrated. They are so good and chewy. If you agree, let me know because they're one of my most favorite cookies. So I'm going to be right back and we're going to get this put together and uh, see how they come out. All right, the first thing you need... You need two and a half, two and a quarter cups of flour. To this, I am going to add two teaspoons of baking soda, which I will do right now. Okay, so I'm adding two teaspoons of baking soda in here. I'm going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of ginger. A half a teaspoon of ground clove. and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm running low on salt. Wipe up my mess. Okay, then I'm gonna whisk this all together real good. Oh man, it smells like the holidays in here with that cinnamon and cloves. When you whisk your flour, you're pretty much sifting it. That's all you're doing. And then you get all the ingredients all blended in. So you got all your dry ingredients together. And this you want to, in this bowl, you want to put all your wet ingredients. And you're gonna start with one cup of brown sugar.
to that, you want a three-fourths cup of shortening. I cheated and bought one in a stick, so it was easier. I didn't have to scoop it out. So, three-fourths cup. There's a foil on top of the foil. Here, I thought this was going to be easier. Okay, so you need three-quarter cup, which is right here. Throw this in. So I blended up all of my ingredients. I think I might have deleted that video or not recorded or something. I don't know what I did. I blended up all the rest of the wet ingredients real good together. Then I poured the dry ingredients on top of the wet ingredients. And now I'm just mi mixing these together. I tell you what, I'm all fumbly today. Making a lot of mistakes today. So, I, uh, I apologize if I uh, did not get to record how to put the wet ingredients together. But I will, um, I'll post the recipe at the end of this video. So, it'll all be written there for you to copy anyway. Oh, my goodness gracious. Long day. Okay, so I got all this. I'm just going to use my hand and... Kind of get it together a little bit easier. All this together. I got my oven preheated to 325. I'm going to move stations and um, show you what I do next. All right. So I got my cookie sheet here lined. I know you can't really see. Let me see if I can adjust it. There you go. Lined um, with parchment. And what I'm going to do is just going to make little balls about one and a half inches, about one and a half inches big, round, and just roll them in a ball, dip them, and roll them in sugar, and put them on the cookie sheet. Once I get this done, I'm going to put them in the oven for 325 degrees. And I'm going to put them in there between 13 to 16 minutes. And keep an eye on them because I'm not sure if this oven's running a little hot these days. And, uh, and I'll be back to show you the final product. This is uh, just the first batch of the cookies, but they came out pretty good. I'm going to take them and let my husband test them, and uh, so you can see what he says, because he's kind of final judge of it all. All right. All right, everyone, this is my husband, Devin. He's going to try the molasses cookies I made and let us know how they came out. Also, if anyone catches the reference of his shirt that he's wearing from a TV show, comment that down below, because that would be awesome if you do. <laughs> What do you think, honey? Those are good? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Good deal. All right. Hey, y'all. Thanks for coming and hanging out and watching the recipe or the video. I know I had a mishap in there and I didn't get to record it all, but that's just less time for you to see my face or hear my voice. No, I'm teasing. Um... Devin just said that the cookies taste like Christmas. It's kind of the point, so. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time.